Hello, welcome to the Ashley and Jason Show podcast once again. And David podcast for the power of the internet. How are you guys today? Um, welcome once again for another episode. Um, well, we're here once again. I thought we'd talk again. Sorry, we haven't been filming lately. It's just been kind of chaotic again. It's been a busy week. Last weekend, a couple weeks ago, we had our basketball tournament um, a few weeks ago um, for Special Olympics. Um, We got third place. My team finally won our first basketball game. We got third place. We got bronze. We're in a lottery right now to see if we're going to go to state states so we're, we're waiting for that so a few weeks ago I was busy playing basketball so I didn't have time to film the last time you saw me was for the elimination chamber sorry about that um so I'm back again a few weeks ago I had a game and then I couldn't you know and then I told you uh, uh this past week we were going to do some WWE uh 2k 24 videos. I promise I'll bring those to you as soon as I can. And I want to bring back the Celtics videos. Um, I'm going to wait until the playoffs start. So hopefully when the playoffs start, I'll bring those videos to you for the Celtics. Um, I'm not really keen on the, you know, the regular season. But once the playoffs start for uh, basketball and also football, when playoffs, I like to do the playoffs basically for football and basketball. So when those start, we'll do the videos for Celtics and uh, football for you. So hopefully when basketball, uh, when the playoffs start in April and May and June, I'll do more basketball for you. But right now we're going to talk about WWE. Also, we're going to talk about Cody Rhodes, The Rock, WrestleMania, and also Ray Wyatt's um, documentary that's coming up on Peacock. We're going to talk all about that. Today's in today's episode, and also about me wanting to go to WrestleMania at the end of this uh, video. But we're gonna get into all that right now. We're gonna talk about Cody Rhodes, The Rock, uh, Roman Reigns situation, and the tag match. My thoughts on that. My thoughts on WrestleMania and Cody winning the championship and everything. So hope you guys like this this video and. I, Please support the podcast. I do the best I can. Like I said, I don't have a setup like JD. I love JD from New York. He's one of my favorite podcasters. Like I said before, I love JD. I love the TNT uh, show that he does with Andy Bardella. Um, I really do like the show. And I, I really love JD. He's one of my favorites. I'm not the best like JD, but I do the best I can. So let's get into... Um, Cody, let's get into Roman, let's get into Seth, let's get into The Rock, let's get into all of it. And here we go. The Rock, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. The Rock, obviously a lot of people say he has a lot of freedom. I think he does, number one, because he is a member of the board of directors and he owns TKO, and he does have a lot of say on the WWE board. He does own some of WWE. Well, he probably owns a lot of WWE now that Vince has gone that pervert. But he has a lot of say when it comes to the board of directors. Um, The Rock, to me... He's Dwayne The Rock Johnson. So what he says goes. And a lot of the wrestlers are pissed off right now because he's gone on social media, swore. He said swears. He He's done a lot of stuff on SmackDown. He said some things about Cody's family. He said some things about Cody that wasn't really nice. I'm a Cody Rhodes fan. I personally, myself, I'm probably a Cody crybaby, as you know, because I support Cody Rhodes. Um, he said some things about Cody's family. He said some things about Cody's mother, Cody's brother, Cody's sister, and a lot of other things. And Cody's dog and Cody's wife, and a lot of things that weren't very, very polite. 
And Cody Rhodes took exception to that this Monday and got pissed off and said some things about Dwayne. The Rock says what he wants when he wants. He's a heel in wrestling. No one's going to upstart Dwayne. The Rock. No one. No one is uh, never going to do it. No one ever has. Not even the not even Austin, not even John Cena. I don't think Cody Rhodes can. I don't think Seth Rollins can. I don't even think even Austin himself could have outstaged The Rock. The Rock is a great promorist when it comes to insulting people. The Rock's con uh, the Rock in concerts have been one of the best in concert promos I've seen in years. The Rock can do a funny promo and cut it and make people laugh instantly. I mean, The Rock is a great promorous. Nobody, nobody could do it better than The Rock. Nobody. I mean, when The Rock insulted Cena in Boston, instantly. He, he insulted Cena. Knew it. Knew how to do it and cut it like nobody else. Nobody can do it like The Rock. Nobody. WrestleMania 28, when he went to Boston and he did all those, all those promos in Boston, instantly he knew how to do it. Nobody can cut a promo like The Rock. Nobody. The Rock knows how to cut a promo. Nobody. And The Rock's one of the best heels in wrestling. I, I think he is. I love Cody, don't get me wrong, but nobody cut a promo like The Rock. Nobody. When The Rock did that in Boston, when he went all around Boston and insulted Cena, nobody could do that like The Rock. Nobody. The Rock can make you laugh in about 10 seconds. I don't care what anybody says. The Rock is funny. He, may, he even makes me laugh sometimes. But what he did to Cody last Thursday, last Friday, I wasn't here. I, I go for basketball practice every Friday. So I only watch SmackDown on Saturday because I, can, I, can, I can't see it Friday nights because I go to basketball practice for Special Olympics. So, what he did, it wasn't funny. It wasn't funny. Cody's not a mistake. He's not. I mean, I didn't laugh. I didn't think it was funny. I didn't think anything he said was hilarious at all. I don't think he really likes Cody. I think he's bitter. I think he's pissed off because he didn't get his goddamn way. And he's pissed off and he's crying and moaning and complaining. Because he didn't, he didn't get what he wanted. Well, Rock, let me tell you something. If you wanted to be in the title picture... Why didn't you enter the Royal Rumble and eliminate Cody Rhodes? That's what I don't understand. He didn't go into the Rumble. Why didn't he why didn't he just loose up his boots, be a man, and enter the Rumble and eliminate Cody Rhodes? I I don't get it. Why didn't he do that? Why didn't he just be a man and go into the Rumble and eliminate Cody? And then he would have faced Roman. I don't understand this. I don't get this concept why he thinks he can just get what he wants because he's a member of the board. No. He's got all these yes men that quite frankly kiss his butt and he and he gets and he and they do this and what? They say whatever he wants and he's gonna be he's gotta get the title match. So what? So what, Rock? You, you got all these yes men that kiss your butt. And you think you deserve it. You didn't enter the Rumble. Be a man. Don't be a coward. Be a man. Enter the Rumble. Be a man, Rock. Enter the Rumble and eliminate Cody. And then you would have faced Roman. But no, you hide behind your yes men. I'm the, I'm the member of the board. I'm the rock. I deserve the title match. No, you don't. No, you don't. You don't deserve nothing. He didn't eliminate Cody. He didn't, he didn't do anything. He didn't do anything to deserve your match. 
You didn't deserve anything to face Roman? You can face Roman next year. But no, you decided to make a tag match and don't even give Cody a freaking chance to win. Give me a break. Cody's not going to win this tag match. And Seth, they're not going to win. Because Roman's not going to lose twice at WrestleMania. I'm sorry, guys. Ain't going to happen. This is how the storyline's going to go. And I'm sorry people are going to get mad at me for saying this. I like Cody. I do. But they got to give Cody... This is how it's going to go. The Rock is coming back to WrestleMania. The Rock is wrestling against Cody and Seth and Roman. And The Rock's going to go into this tag match. And if The Rock wins and Roman wins, it's bloodline rules. I think The Rock and Roman are going to win. Because they don't want Rock to lose his first match back. They don't want that. And Roman cannot lose twice. If Roman loses twice at WrestleMania, that's not good for the bloodline. So you might as well, Roman will walk out of Philadelphia with the Universal title. We don't want that. We want Cody to win. That's what we want. We want Cody to finish the story. We want Cody to have a challenge. That's what Triple H wants here. So Triple H has to make a story where it seems impossible for Cody to win. And impossible for Cody to win. Not to win. Okay? So Cody's going to lose the tag match. We're going to be crapping bricks on night two. If Cody loses this on night one. It's just going to happen. It has to happen. Cody is going to lose on night one. We're going to be crapping bricks on night one. I hate to say it. And I think, I think whatever happens on night one. We'll, ha we'll, we'll shove all out to night two. So if Roman loses on night one, he will not lose on night two. I'm sorry, guys. That ain't going to happen. Regardless of what happens on night one. So Roman and Rock have to win night one. We have to let that happen. Because here's the reason. You want Cody to finish the story, right? We all want that. We said hashtag we want Cody. So Cody has to have a challenge. So Cody has to lose night one. That's a good thing. Not a bad thing. I just hear me out. If Cody loses night one to the Rock and Roman, he can go into night one bloodline rules and win and finish. Now it might seem impossible, but he could still win. And this is what Bendel, Andrew Bendella said on TNT. Well, Roman's going to walk out with the Universal title. No, he isn't. No, he isn't. Ro I am sick and tired of Roman Reigns being the Universal Champion. For the last three years, we have seen Roman with that title. I understand The Rock. Loves his cousin. No doubt about it. Roman is a tough guy. He's a tough competitor. He's a tough he runs the bloodline and he's a champion of champions. But I am sick and tired of bloodline, bloodline, bloodline every single week. And he doesn't even defend it. I mean, you might as well then let him win the belt then. And sh crap on Cody. I mean, Roman walks out of Philadelphia with the title. I will stop watching wrestling. Because I, I don't agree with that. I think that's a stupid move for WWE to make. What kind of freaking opinion is that? That is a stupid opinion. That is the dumbest thing I've ever heard a freaking person make. What a comment. Roman walk out as Universal Champion. That is stupid. 
Roman should not be champion. Cody's got to be the champion. Cody has to finish his story. That's what people want. That's what the fans want. That's what WWE wants. They want a new champion. Roman is done. Roman did his time for the last three years, you idiot. Roman is done, you moron. Roman is finished. I am sick and tired of Roman. Okay? I don't want Roman anymore. I'm tired of Roman. I like you, man. You're cool with JD. You are. But that is a dumb comment. Something needs to change. Okay, man? You, 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 you. Shoot, stupid thing fell. Dude, you need to change your, your, your perspective on what you do, man. You really do. Something needs to change with your, your uh, opinion on that. I need a drink. Hold on, man, guys. You need to change your perspective, man, on your opinion on that, dude. Because you need, you need, you need to change your uh, wording. Oh, Roman should be champion. No, he shouldn't. That's stupid. He got a lot of things to say. If you got something to say to me on Tuesday, I'd like to hear it. Because I'll comment it. I watch the, this channel all the time. Andrew, I'm pretty sure you watch me. I'm pretty sure you're going to watch this video. That's a dumb comment. It really is. Roman should walk out of Philadelphia. I don't think so. Nobody wants that. Everybody wants Cody. Everybody. For the last three years, Roman's been champion. People are sick of it. They're sick of Roman. I'm sick of Roman. I like the guy. I have nothing against, I have all the respect in the world for Roman Reigns. He's a great champion. I'm tired of him. It's time for a change. You know? It is. It's time for something to change. You know what I mean? It really is. Let's hope that Cody... Finishes his story. Shift gears here a little bit to um, Ray Wyatt. Well, there's a documentary coming out for Ray Wyatt, Rotunda. David, well, his real name is, you know, Rotunda, I think. I, I can't really pronounce his real name. But Ray Wyatt's coming out with a documentary on Peacock on April 1st. The Undertaker's doing it, and I think it's going to be great. I'm f I'm glad that they're doing something for Ray, because Ray really deserves all the respect in the world for what he's done for professional wrestling. Ray is why his death was really unexpected. Um, Ray meant a lot to me and a lot of people. Um, he was a great wrestler. His death was very unexpected last year. Um, my friend Ernie told me about it um, when we were on our way home from Thrive. Uh, I am in a program for my special needs. I have special needs, by the way, guys. I have high, high functioning autism. We'll get to that at the end of the video. My friend, my friend Ernie told me about it on Google, and I found out about Ray dying. I was very shocked when I found about about Ray Wyatt. Um, I used to watch Ray a lot with the Wyatt family and also when he was the Fiend. A lot of Ray's antics I didn't agree with because I'm a Christian guy, but Ray was a great wrestler, a great human being. Um, a lot of things he did creatively was a very, very, very creative person. Um, but Ray was a very humble human being as well. 
Um, he was a great person to be around for a lot of people that, that knew him. And one of the greatest wrestlers I could ever see in the ring. His movements, his, his uh, creative aspect, the way he moved, the way he did his movements in the ring. He was a great wrestler, great promerous. Um, his matches with Cena, like I said, five now one of the best matches at WrestleMania 30. Not WrestleMania 36 with Cena, but WrestleMania 30 was one of the best with Cena I've ever seen. Um, but he was a good wrestler. Um, and I miss him terribly. I still do to this day. I still think Vince McMahon ruined his career. I still think that to this very day that Vince McMahon ruined the, the, the Ray Wyatt's career. But underneath all that, I hope this documentary covers everything that Vince did to him. Because McMahon is the reason why Ray Wyatt, the Fiend, died. That's the reason why Vin Vince killed the Fiend. As far as I'm concerned, Ray Wyatt's career never got started. Vince McMahon just killed it. Ray Wyatt never got off the feet to the ground. If it wasn't for Vince McMahon. If it wasn't for Triple H, I don't think Ray Wyatt would even get started. But when Ray Wyatt returned, Vince was still around. And his brother was coming back as Uncle Howdy and everything, but Vince killed it. WrestleMania. Bobby Lashley was his opponent. I just... I feel bad for Ray. I just... I think Vince McMahon killed Ray Wyatt before he even got started. You know, and The Undertaker had a lot of respect for him. You know? And I believe that Ray Wyatt died of, a, you know, COVID and a lot of things that Ray went through, he shouldn't have gone through. He got fired and then he got rehired and then he went through all the crap again with Vince. Just... I feel bad for him. I, I, felt, I felt like my heart goes out to him, you know? Hopefully this documentary will cover everything that he went through. From the Wyatt family up until his death. You know, the Fiend and all that stuff. Because Ray Wyatt deserves all the accolades he gets. Everything from The Undertaker and people that know him. And also the his death of his friend Brody Lee. He's in the game, 2K24, which is very, very great. Uncle Howdy's in the game. I think that's a great, tremendous opportunity that he's in the game. I think that's great that they did that for him. Putting him in WWE 2K24 is a great thing. You know, that they did that for him. And I will do gameplay for you guys um, soon. But... That's a great opportunity for him. I hope that this documentary really shows the kind of guy he was because he was a great wrestler and a great person. God rest his soul and all the legends that have passed. And hopefully he will go into the Hall of Fame next year in Indianapolis. And he deserves it. He deserves it. Everything he gets for this documentary. So God rest his soul and all the legends that have passed. Brody Lee. Take it a moment of silence for Brody Lee. I mean for Ray Wyatt, sorry.
Thank you. Switching gears. Um, I want to take a moment to talk to Triple H. Yeah, Triple H, if you see this video. I know WWE supports the Special Olympics. Let's go for a little ride. I know Triple H supports the Special Olympics. Um, I just want to show Triple H something real quick. If Triple H sees all this. So Triple H, I want you to know that um, this is what I do. Um, my friends and I do this. And I want Triple H to know that this is what I do. And my friends and I, we want to go to WrestleMania. We want to go to WrestleMania next year for WWE. My friends from Thrive. My friends Ashley, Jason, me, Kevin, and Ernie. We do Special Olympics for Special Olympics support and advocacy out of Thrive. And we like to know if WWE can send us tickets for night one and night two for WrestleMania for Special Olympics Massachusetts. And we want to know if you can call Thrive Office and talk to our CEO, Sean, who runs the program, and get us tickets for next year's WrestleMania, wherever it may be. And we would like to go. 